Hey everyone, welcome to another video. We are at UT Dallas today and I'm with Hirsch. Hirsch, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey guys, everybody, welcome to UTD. This is Hirsch, AKA that Indian guy. And today we are going to check out the UTD campus. Let's go. So here we are guys at the Naveen Jindal School of Management, also known as JSOM. Fun fact, JSOM is the most well-known school at UTD all around the world and is in fact the biggest school at UTD. So let's go inside. All right. One question I had though, yes. before we go inside, why Naveen Jindal's name is associated with the SOM? So Naveen Jindal is actually uh, an alumni of the Jindal School of Management. So uh, when Naveen Jindal came here, he did his MBA from here at UT Dallas and it was School of Management at that time. So once he graduated and became so big, he came back here and he donated a lot of money so that this school can be developed. And that's why they honored this school as the Naveen Jindal School of Management. Yeah, the, ba the basic concept yeah. to look at, okay. he was a alum, yeah. that's why. So today, JSOM is a really huge complex. It has multiple buildings inside it. It has multiple centers for real estate, for information systems, for finance, marketing. It's a really huge building. There's a couple restaurants inside. So the best way to check it out is just to walk around and get a feel of all the different things going on in here. All right, let's look at it. I had a question. So yeah. what all, of course, MBA goes on here. Uh, maybe Mahesh can answer this better is what other programs happen at the well we have the the famous program is business analytics that's where most of the students are then the second famous program is information techno technology management the third famous is supply chain management then we have other programs too like marketing finance and others and Mahesh, you are from marketing, right? Yes, I'm from marketing. So your, your classes happen here? Yeah, all of the classes, uh, all, all of, of all the courses that I've told you right now, all the classes happen over here at JSOM. Okay. Uh, sorry. So I actually studied information technology and systems at JSOM, which is the undergraduate version of ITM. And if you look around, I've spent numerous times picking up coffee at this cafe, doing a lot of presentations in all sorts of different classrooms here in this atrium and walking around. So this side over here is mostly what we call old JSOM. It is a whole hallway of classes. Same thing if you go upstairs, there's a lot of different classes as well. This is, this is where JSOM really started, but as time went on, as you can see, there's a whole new hallway and there's a bunch more classes and other buildings in there that is called as the new JSOM or JSOM 2. So let's check those out. All right. I did see something, Harsh. Yeah. I saw a whole banner of Indian food which is uh, which usually don't you don't see okay in this, is, US this is definitely new when I was here and I graduated in 2019 about three years ago this was like a little Starbucks cafe with a bunch of snacks there was definitely no Indian snacks over there I wish I had that just to yeah, stop by have, and pick something up real quick they have Dhaipuri, samosa <laughs> chaat yeah so Kalachanji came in just like an year back and the best part about this is you can get it here at JSOM and definitely at the um, student union but the best part is uh, so uh, whatever the things that are left for the day so they, they cook everything new fresh right so suppose if, if anything is there which is left today uh, in the night they will send it uh, sell it to you at 50% off so nice. pro tip wow I didn't know that I wish that was there when I was here it's just like four I mean, it would, would, would have been really nice. <laughs> so yeah, Collington G's is actually from the ISKCON Temple in South Dallas. Correct. Okay. Rob has a story. Yeah. So as I've done cross-cultural tours, I've taken Americans to Hindu temples, and there's an ISKCON Temple in South Dallas that actually has the famous restaurant. It's like the most famous vegan restaurant in Dallas. And then they actually started doing branches here at UTD as an outreach to help the students here who are veg, pure veg, and get good Indian food, which is hard because it wasn't on the campus. So like this is the trading lab. We just passed the accounting uh, lab. There's, a, there's another real estate lab right above us. Rob, every time I search for Texas University videos, your videos show up. Introduce yourself to the audience. Hey friends, I'm Rob. Um, I live really close by here to UT Dallas and love helping out the students here. Um, it was the students here and friends like Parth and Hirsch that inspired me to start Chai and Coaching, which is to help students on their study abroad and career journey. So it's fun showing this campus. UTD is a beautiful campus, a lot of great opportunities. And yeah, it's a really cool just 
a unique international student environment here, uh, different than you'll find at many other colleges. And so it's, it's an honor to be hanging out with Parth and showing them you know, a very DESI campus, but uh, great programs, uh, great extracurriculars, and yeah, it's fun to be here uh, helping you guys out. And we are right now in one of the classes. Yes, so this is a classroom in JSOM, one of the typical halls for lectures, student organization meetings. Um, yeah, this is a typical classroom here in the business school. Awesome. So I've been following Rob for some time now, and we have been like communicating on emails, text, Instagram. We even hung out in uh, Phoenix mm -hmm. a couple of times now, right? And I always wanted to visit Dallas, like because come to meet him, see UTD with him. So this is like a lot of fun for me. Uh, and there's a big howdy party tonight, right? Yeah, so tonight's the, every semester they have a huge welcome party for the international students. Um, in the fall, like thousands of students come, there'll be several hundred tonight, but it's free food, get to meet other students, meet Americans, and there's a huge cool local partnership here with Americans that help out. And they do a lot of efforts with airport pickups, housing, orientation, and parties. So there's great ways to get involved and meet people. That's awesome. All right, let's show us around, Rob. <laughs> so this is the undergraduate lounge, which is the center of everything in New JSOM. This is where a lot of groups meet for class projects and so on. We are completely surrounded by uh, classrooms over here on multiple floors. I think it goes all the way up to the fourth floor inside here. The career center is right above us. Again, out, if you look outside, there's more places for students to just sit and study. If you come here on a weekday in the middle of a semester, it will be hustling and bustling with students, just trying to catch up on homework, hang out in between classes or anything else that is going on over here. But I think this has become the new center of JSON. Like, you know how we used to have, how we had the old JSON, the hallway, and now, as you can see clearly, this was built afterwards, and this became like the more central point of everything going on in JSON. Uh, there's a lot of different outdoor spaces to, to hang out. Obviously, it is cold right now, so you can't go outside, but in case you wanted to practice something, practice presenting, it's making too much noise here. There's tons and tons of tables outside JSON to do stuff. As we continue this tour, you'll realize just how big the JSOM building and JSOM campus really is compared to the rest of everything at UTD. Uh, where any are we going Any next? questions? But any questions about JSOM? We Final. are good. We are good. We saw some classes. We saw uh, some of the open spaces where students hang out. Yeah. This is awesome. It's oh, a beautiful building. Before we go, I know I just mentioned it in there, but up here is the Career Management Center, which personally was my favorite place at JSOM because JSOM gets its own dedicated career center different from the rest of the campus. And they have some really amazing people in there. They're constantly hosting four or five different sessions a week, bringing in employers. And I think that made my JSOM experience just so much better to hear from the employers, like all the stuff that we're learning in classes, how does it apply? So huge shout out to the CMC. That's awesome. Is it on the second floor? Or? Yeah, it's the whole second, this part of the second floor is the CMC. They have interview rooms, rooms for employers. Yeah, all the way all from the uh, where the stairs are, star, yeah. till like, till the end. All of this, that's awesome. So JSON has dedicated that much space for Career Center just for this school. <sighs> There's a lot of international students, you need career advice. Yeah. Like a, a good example is, so I currently work for a consulting firm called Headstorm, and we're going to be actually up in one of those rooms in a matter of two weeks presenting and uh, presenting and sharing with students about our recruiting, hiring process, and so on. So they're always reaching out to alumni as well to come back and share. So currently we are walking to the main and central part of the campus, but as we go, just wanted to highlight some buildings. Uh, behind me over here is the new alumni center. Uh, just as a couple of ballrooms, if there's other big meetings and events going on over there. But if you look over there, it's the new arts and technology building, which is uh, UTD is trying to get ahead when it comes to a different intersection of arts and technology, computer design, VR, AR, all sorts of programs like that. And we do have a dedicated building for it. Now, there's not a lot of international students that enroll in those programs, but UTD is starting to build its name in some of these courses. 
So this is the Davidson Gandhi Alumni Center. All of the major events where a celebrity is coming in or a big personality is coming in happens over here. Even all the MBA executive events happens over here. So we just recently had the head of the Washington Embassy over here. So we hosted her over here and all the big personalities from UTDB, the dean of the whole university or the head of ISSO, they all came in over here. This is like one of the most beautiful pathways I've seen with the fountains yeah. and with beautiful trees and it's on both the sides exact like mirror. Why and what is it? Why? Like this seems like something significant. No, this really is the most picturesque part of campus, this whole plaza over here. A lot of people take their pictures here even when they just visit UTD or start at UTD. But the most significant part is this is once you graduate at UTD, you had your graduation walk, everybody comes out here and it's like a big open party and celebration. And this is the center of everything graduation at UTD. So I guess the school wanted to make that experience, those pictures as nice and memorable and beautiful as possible. So uh, there is this one tradition that UTD follows. So we are called as comets. So um, any student who dies here while studying or pursuing their career here at UTD, and if they die, uh, their name is engraved on a stone and it's put in this um, walkway. While we are here, I got a really cool fun fact for you. But if you look down over here, you can see there's a lot of uh, black and white marks, which basically looks like a chess board. In fact, if you look around, there's three different chess boards here, which, which is very important. It's not there by accident. UTD is actually one of the best schools in the world for chess. We have a lot of students who have become grandmasters. I remember a friend of mine from the dorm who is currently living in South Africa is one of the grandmasters. Like UTD has become the hub for that. UTD, UTD's best sport is not football, basketball, it is chess. We're in our mind. Because yeah. you can challenge anybody Arsh. anytime. Arsh. What is this building? So right now we are in the student union, which is again the hub of uh, different kinds of games, pool, ping pong, board games, there's a bunch of restaurants. And also back in the day, this used to be the dining hall before they built an entirely separate dining hall building. But again, this is the, uh, this is the place where no matter what your major is, where your classes are being held, everybody can come hang out and just take a break and socialize and maybe even hang out after school. We were just talking how cool this technology bar is because it didn't really exist uh, when I was at UTD. The tech helped us look like a dungeon <laughs> of sorts in the next building to go from there to this really cool coffee bar looking like place. No, this yeah, is a tech this... bar. So since we have a collaboration with Microsoft, so you have any issues with your Teams or with your Outlook, you can come over here, they can solve any issue of yours. Plus, this is the tech bar where we have uh, where the Microsoft Student Ambassador program happens. So uh, you can get that program. You can sign in uh, to that program through here. So right now we are at the second floor of the student union, and I just quickly wanted to highlight the galaxy rooms A, B, and C, which are three multi-purpose rooms that can actually be collapsed to become one huge room. This is one of the biggest areas to gather together, hang out and do events right in the middle of campus. So it's a really coveted place that an organization only gets a limited access to all throughout the year. But every time there's an event happening here, it is really convenient. You can go participate, grab your food and go down and do, go back to your classes. That's awesome. I see a few Harry Potter <laughs> houses looking like sign. Explain what it is. So these are different fraternities and sororities that exist at UTD, which is also known as Greek life. Uh, now, I will say UTD is not that big on Greek life, but there's definitely some of the more national ones like, um, actually, let me find where they are, like, like Chi Phi over here. There is Delta Tau Delta. There's Tri Delta over here. There is Kappa Delta. So, oh, there's Phi Gamma Delta, which is Fiji. Were you part of any of these? I, I just had a lot of friends who were part of these, so 
So right now we are at the food court section of the second floor. This is where most of the restaurants on campus exist. We have Starbucks over here. We have Firehouse Subs, Smoothie Kings. There's a dozen restaurants as you go inside as well. Again, you want to grab a quick bite in between classes or you're just having a really busy day and you just want a coffee, you just want a drink. This is the best place to just come grab something and go. That's awesome. So I'm assuming a lot of people and maybe Mahesh can answer that, this, yeah. right? A uh, lot of people are working on campus shops here, Mahesh. So this is the best part about here that you can get an easy campus job over here, over here because they give you offer letter right there in front. And most of the students who come first usually come over here at the dining and they get the campus job usually in the start. And they pay somewhere around 9 to 13 bucks. Tell me one secret. Do people work offline, off, off campus jobs as well? Well, sometimes they do, but I highly don't recommend that because just recently one of the students got caught and he was deported back, so not at all recommended. If you're coming to UTD and maybe you don't want to work at the restaurants, but I still highly recommend to become friends with somebody who works at the restaurants because people who work here definitely get at least one free meal per day. But more likely than not, they often get two, three meals per day depending on the sales of the day. And if you're really good friends with that person, they can always bring that meal for you. That is awesome. Also depending, on, also depending on whether the manager is there or not. But yeah, most of the students do get free meals if they have friends over here. Uh, this is one thing I've seen, like, which is pretty common in a lot of these food places, right? Like, a few of my friends worked at Starbucks before. They would get a certain allowance or a certain drink and a food item from Starbucks. And they would just give it out to their friends because they were bored. So great idea and i see there's an indian place here as well if you see kalachanji cafe counter at the food court so yep there is uh, indian food places if you're interested in that food all right so this is the student center there's a lot of activity going on monday is a holiday i'm here on the 15th of january 14th of january monday is a holiday but as you can see there's more food places uh, this is where all the students hang out Maybe after classes, undergrads more prominently than grad students, but there's a lot of food places as well where students work, which pays well and it's on campus job. So that's what students want. So what is this place? This is the main plant area. So you will see most of the photos over here. You can sit just right over here. We have electric plugs. You can just sit in, use your computer. We have Starbucks in the back. And right opposite to us is the library. Plus, this main stage, well, all the events majorly, you know, be it concerts, small concerts from our clubs, or any other event, be it what we celebrate, be it Independence Day, Republic Day, or whatever, it happens over here. And pretty chill place, we have this circle where you can just sit around and that's Seems it. really relaxed. So why are there no students today? Well, our university is just about to start and you will see all the students sitting over here and then walking around just right here. University is going to start just two days after and then you will see a lot of crowd just at this place. Especially, um, this place is famous for one thing. In Plint area, you will see all the organizations putting their stalls in. So, be it ISA or be it any other club over here. If they want to promote something, these are the places you will see the stalls at. And the main part, free goodies. So all the free goodies, you're going to get it from here, be it free t-shirts, cup, mugs, all the stalls are here. So whenever you come to university for a class, do try to come over here, check if, the, is there, a thing, if there is anything which is for free. And yep. Awesome. So we have a very big three-floor library. We call it um, McDermott Library because McDermott was one of the co-founders of this university. So we had McDermott, Cecil Green and Johnson. So that's how they have divided the name. So this is the McDermott li library. We have four flo three floors. The ground one where you can just sit and chill around and the first one you can talk around, do your group activities. The upper two floors are the quiet one and like the topmost floor you cannot make even a pin drop. So it's like the pin drop silence. How many libraries are on their camp? Around the one. campus, just, just one, just two. But this is where all the students go. The second one is right, like somewhere outside, and it is just for books, and it, it's kept for books. Can you show me the library, or is yep. it closed today? No, it's open. Okay, hi, I'm Rishav. I'm doing my masters in electrical, and this is the Texas Instrument Plaza. 
uh, when UTD was founded in its initial years, uh, Texas Instrument wanted to grow more and more engineers. That is why they set up a university in the town. And uh, we do have a Texas Instrument Research Center where me and like my friends work over there. So yeah, it's a great, uh, great place to you know carry out your research. And if you are interested in electrical, it's a good school. So this one's the sciences building. This is where Rishabh had his first class. And this is a beautiful building. Amazing looking building. Um, and Mahesh, it was it you who was telling me? I think Harsh was telling me that UTD is comparatively newer to other universities. Yes, it was. So UTD was established in 1969, so it is a pretty young university and all these buildings that you see here, they have been just established within this year, so they have been developed after 2000. So this is the sciences one, uh, we have open screening over here of movies, plus uh, a music band, the No Strings Attached, which is a music band of UTD, they practice every Friday over here. So this is the Engineering Sciences North building. We have four buildings, the North, South, East and West. I'll be giving you a tour of this building because my lab is in over here. What, so, what major are you again? So I'm into electrical engineering with a focus on like uh, microwave engineering and like internal stuff. So I'll show you my lab over here. Follow me. Over here, we are in the ground floor and right now it's all empty but when uh, the classes are going full flow, you can see students lining up over here waiting for classes and then cramping assignments. Uh, over here, it's the IEEE tutoring center wherein majority undergrad students come in for like solving their doubts and then here you can see sections for classrooms. Uh, let us check if it's open. While we are going, uh, electrical engineering here has like a couple of fields. One is like the digital, there is analog, then there is RF, uh, RF and microwave, which is like what I am pursuing and it's very well known. Uh, like uh, there's a lab section over here, which is uh, one of the few schools offer it in the US and it has really helped me get an internship. I was working at Apple during the summer and uh, it was a fun three month period. So uh, the lab you'll be visiting now is like a hands-on tour of what we do in that lab. And yeah, let's go to the lab. So how was your experience at Apple? Yeah, it was cool. Uh, so three months I was working near the headquarters, uh, which is the ring office. Yeah. And uh, I was working there as a wireless systems engineer. Uh, Would you go back? Uh, right now, let's see. The market is like little tough, but yeah, why not? Uh, it's a dream company to work in. And yeah. personally, I like working with mobile phones and communication systems. So definitely would like to go back. Nice. All right. Tell us about your lab. Sure. So I'll take you to the bench uh, setup right now. So this is like the signal generator. This is the network analyzer. These are a few calibration boxes. And then you can see power supplies and digital multimeter. One of the equipment that we use a lot in RF is the spectrum analyzer and the VNAs. So if Parth has any audience who is uh, planning to come to like RF My wife has the audience. She keeps talking about like, because she's also electrical major. Okay. And she's doing uh, her 
you know PhD in optical sciences. Okay. So she uses all of these instruments like pretty often. Okay, sounds good. So these are the instruments you would be working on, and uh, I have also like I am working as a lab assistant over here. So yep. Okay, coming to the lab part, uh, we do like lots of hands-on designing stuff. So what we do is we do CAD CADs uh, designs of uh, various circuits like components, filters, uh, mixers, and then there's a machine over there uh, which does the milling job for the circuits. So this is like the circuit milling board. Uh, you can see cut out on the copper sheet. So what we do is we cut out our rectangles and the designs are imprinted on this. So yeah, this is one of the machines we use a lot. That's awesome. All right. Uh, okay. So you're working as a lab assistant right now. Uh -huh. That's 20 hours per week you're working? Correct. And w is that considered as a teaching assistant, like a research assistant? No, right now it's like a different job. So most of the teaching assistants and research assistantships are with reserved for PhD students in UTD. So I got this. Uh, like work position because of my professor because I was in contact with him and he helped me you know secure this position so one tip for you just be open for any opportunities and like network with your professors and seniors that will help you a lot are you planning to do a PhD after this sure like why not I'm I'm more interested in the stuff like whatever I have studied I would like to deep dive into it as well so let's see if the the path takes me over there, I would be definitely open for it. That's awesome. Um, this is like one of the great things about, it. so seeing, you know, management school, I love management school, it looks great. Uh, but like these labs and these libraries is what interests me a lot in universities and the kind of environment you get to really study and to get, to deep dive into a subject or into a field like you'll never get it or you'll never be able to do it outside. Okay. That's why people say like degrees are not so important. I think degrees are not important at certain times, but university environment is really important for you to grow and nurture. Uh, that's why whenever I'm on campus, I love to like sit around, work there, because it gives you a mindset, it gives you a tunnel vision to like really focus on certain tasks. Uh, well, thank you so much guys for showing me around. Uh, right. Rishab, this was awesome. Thanks for taking permission yep. for us to show this. Sure, uh, Parth, it was awesome meeting you as well and it's like a dream come true. I had been in talks with you like two two years before coming and to meet you in person, it's uh, really my pleasure. So, Thanks a lot, good to man. meet you. Yep. Yeah, um, they have a big howdy party now. We're going to head to that pretty soon. Uh, but thanks to M Mahesh as well, right? Yes, we're just still left with the university recreation. It's so okay. we're gonna do yeah, okay. we can do a closer okay. here. Yeah. yeah, well thank you so much, Pad. It was really a pleasure doing this for you and uh, I really thank you for doing all the work that you have done while preparing for my journey. You know, uh, the first video when I decided to do my masters in US was the first the video that I watched on YouTube was yours. Awesome. So that makes a lot of difference to all the students. So thank you so much for doing this and whatever you do. <laughs>